One dark night in the middle of the day, two dead boys came out to play. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. A deaf policeman heard the noise and came and killed the two dead boys. Now, if you think this lie is true, ask the blind man. He saw too. The dead boys, I would stab them in the head. Because they're zombies. Hate zombies. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Hey, follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so, so juicy. Party, 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 party. I don't know why I did that. I'm glad you did. Huh. Oh, my nipple feels better because of you. Today we're acting to a little snippet from that, um... Stop saying that word! Snippet. Oh, that just uh, makes me think of remember, vasectomies. We did, we did a, I think it was the other day, it was... Each Bollywood actor talked about their favorite performance. Right. Uh, of the other. Yes. This is from that same interview, but this is oh. VJ. Yes. Devarakonda about Ranveer. I think they're talking to each other Got it. in this. He is... We had said something about him being so soft-spoken throughout the interview. Uh, well, that interview, I don't think he talked. Yeah, like he was soft-spoken to the point of being... Well, both VJs speaking. were. This Because this is not VJ Tharapathy, uh, whom we've seen in 83, 86, I right. mean, 96, and... Right. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that's lives. right. That's right, my bad. Uh, but he was quiet as well. This is from uh, Arjun Reddy. Yes. Uh, an, an actor who we hear is great, who we haven't seen yet, so please let us know down below what uh, his first film. Is it Arjun Reddy? Is it something else? I would like to do something else, so we're not comparing it to Kabir Singh, even though obviously this was before Kabir, Kabir Singh. I know that. Okay. We, know. we Just apologize. like we need to watch the original Drishyam, we know. We apologize. Uh, but what, uh, what, what performances of his should we uh, uh, watch? Um, so yeah, this is, I'm guessing, a little another snippet from that uh, interview. One day we'll do one of these. A snippet? No, like a round table with a bunch of actors. Agreed. Hey! Wait, before you start it. Oh my god. Hurry yeah. Up. I like. Hey, look, she's got a cowboy hat on. You're on the channel, Lexi. Hello? You're on the channel. We're filming right now. Oh, hey guys. Howdy. Is Howdy. that is that Micah's cowboy hat? No, it's mine. It's yours! All right, let me call you right back. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. There you go. You wonder where Alexis was? She's in a cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. Here we go. It's a cowgirl hat, actually. Sorry, my bad there. It's a cowgirl hat. <laughs> oh, it's still going. An audition, and everybody will be heard because you were treated badly when you were trying to make it as an actor. Um, how do you all want to use the cloud that you have and the influence that you want? I think for me, it's, uh, how I look at everything that I have or uh, life in general is just about uh, making memories. So I think uh, uh, I think stories are really important. Even uh, like if a lady is trying to take a picture, like I'm sitting on a flight and she's taking, I get annoyed first. Then I'm like, excuse me, please don't take pictures. And then I start feeling guilty. Then I'm like, let me make a moment for her. And then, for her. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll pull. Because I know she'll go home. She'll remember it for the rest of her life. Popular, at least. And she'll tell her kids, you know what, this guy did this. So it's just about doing these things, which are nicer stories to tell than I can go to set, make my movies, make my money. But uh, I think it's about giving people and myself like when i'm 80 and i want to talk to people i need to have some stories to tell so it's about uh, just trying to create as many stories as possible i think so i approach everything uh, from, with, that from that lens from that incredibly lens. difficult let's for make celebrities. It a story let's make it fun let's make it, yeah. it's very easy to get annoyed and uh, just i love uh, i love him for uh, for just doing whatever the hell he wants. I think all everyone can be that. <laughs> and uh, no man, even your make my trip answer like uh, <laughs> so as in I think I think it's it's just 
because everyone wants you to conform and i i it drives me mad that you have to conform and yeah. like no who makes the rules like I, i will dress how i want to do what i want be happy how does it bother anyone i just i'd like to just have a broader submit a broader perspective you know um i i'd like to just make the people's lives see like vijay very rightly said i also believe that we live in um the the ghor kaliyug you know like uh, it's according to me in the cycle of the universe it's been this is the worst it's ever been you know a uh, a concept or a theory or an idea that's put forth in some recent films some as well so i believe existence is uh, the experience is one of agony you know uh, i i i i believe i was born extra sensitive to the agonies of existence somehow hmm. um so i just want to make uh make it bearable you know make people smile make them feel light make people happy make them laugh um you know uh, tell them a story engage them uh in some way uh, where they forget about um the agonies of existence for a certain period of time and they're lost in in this tale that you're telling them that you're engaging them in <coughs> and that's it <laughs> but on our terms like we don't wake up to every day entertain like sometimes like i have a bad day i'm not in a mood uh, once once if they because people know this is our intention and we, we are this kind of people you can't expect every second that do this for me do, i'm not like a puppet that you just do like when i feel like it i will it needs to come from within i want to set the expectation yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. let's just manage there. expectations yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so preservation is that very important undoubtedly but uh, i find that i'm ever so willing for people what strange end um what was that <laughs> i don't i don't know but above everything else i i couldn't take my eyes off the pika i was wondering if she was okay mm. <laughs> the whole time like i was i couldn't stop looking at the pika patacon and thinking was she okay like what was wrong with her i don't something maybe she was just tired or there was something else going on but um she she was she was i don't know i just i had this intuitive sense of are you okay? it reminded me of when i can tell if something's wrong with alexis or 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 ashley i just there was this sense of there's a reason she's not particularly engaging and listening she's still listening but there's sure something else she her mind is on something else right now i don't it may have just been the day but i was actually concerned for tapika <laughs> was, i was totally distracted i was listening was she not, i heard everything they was said she not paying attention she didn't look at ranveer at all when he was talking she stayed pretty much in a posture of of quasi daydream staying ahead with a gloom she might just have add no it was more than just that there was there was there was something if i'm else. not directly just talking to somebody if it's like a group i don't and i'm not being talked to i don't look at the people usually yeah but i know i i think i'm a pretty good read in the differentiation between someone who would be doing it in that regard versus someone who's doing something because there's a melancholic cloud of some kind that they're dealing with and i do know she does have had a head a head of history of um right. battling depression yeah. it's very so possible she it very well may have been that she was she might really have, struggling that day she might have just been doing a bunch of press junkets i don't yeah, know yeah she may have just been exhausted a press junket i'm um, not sure so anyway but yeah it's I often feel it's easy to judge celebrities off of what they do sometimes like if if they're a dick like one day to sure. to to somebody because they're they're having a bad day right. and they're somebody comes up and just, that's the thing that sets them off and then you assume that's the way they are all the time yeah and and so obviously you obviously as a celebrity you can't do that no it's just you're held to this crazy expectation you know that's what people are going to think about you if you do something like that so i do feel bad for them a lot of times cuz they can't ever have a moment like that where they're just bro why like if let's say i was at, at a ranveer status somebody took a picture of me with my family right next to me i would i i would probably not be a very good celebrity 
<laughs> I, I promise you there would be invasive stuff that paparazzi do and I would go straight up Alec Baldwin on them. I know mm -hmm. I would. Because because the paparazzi in particular yeah. can be just straight up invasive assholes. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, oh I, I've thought about that many times. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've had situations where I've got mad at people where I was driving on the road and I thought, man, Lord help me the day I would ever reach a place that I could become a household name and people would know me and take a picture and send it. And it's true, you get one bad day mm -hmm. and people make the assumption and it stays with you. I, I can, I've had encounters with people who they would never remember me. Like I've, I met Muhammad Ali. I'm sure he would never remember the encounter. Yeah. I'll never forget it. So when you meet, I met Robin Williams. Yeah. Guarantee he didn't remember me. Christopher Reeve, guarantee he doesn't remember me. But I will never forget it. Yeah. And so when you have a bad encounter, it's even worse. Yeah. And that's the story you take with you. So I, th I like that he did. Especially coming from bring that up. Indian celebrities. Oh, it's even who way they're, more. They're held at way a, more. A godlike standard to, I can't to even. people all around India. Uh, the fact that, like, because they, they're, they're celebrity, even though on the world stage it is much smaller than, let's say, like a Tom Cruise. But, except for, like, I guess Shah Rukh Khan, uh, mm -hmm. or people of that clout. But in terms of if they're in India with people that know them, they are. Yeah, but therein, therein lies, therein lies the blessing that, for me, it's like, I, I would absolutely have no problem with the loss of the privacy for the exchange of the ability to bless somebody with something as simple as a hi. Mm. We, we've got in a microcosm right now where I, you know, you respond to a message to somebody on Instagram and you, they say, I'm, I've gotten responses from beautiful stupid babies who say, you have no idea how much it means to me that you responded, I'm in tears right now, you made my day. And all I did was care to look at their message and genuinely respond, you know? It, it's an amazing, for me, the trade-off, yes, they should be given some privacy, but the trade-off for me, the amount of blessing you can give to people compared to what you lose in the exchange, getting to do what you love to do. Somebody messaged me and I told them to fuck off. They said, Mada So it's the same. It's the it's same, the same, thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. Same thing. <laughs> 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 Ha ha ha!